everybody, Scott from Two Brothers Tactical here with a new piece of gear that I wanted to try and get a video out on. Uh, as you can see here, we have a bug bite holster. Uh, this is their new version of the holster, which as you can see here on the packaging, shows the, uh, the added feature that they've added a strap and uh, these rubber dimples on the inside, and we'll get take a look at the actual holster in a, in a couple of moments. Um, this is the second version of their holster. I had the first version and I have to say it was a very comfortable holster. Um, the issue being the way that the original just kind of sat on your leg like this shows, uh, it didn't have this tension strap to kind of lock it in around your leg and that cause some problems and I'll, I'll explain that in a little bit but this is the new version uh, this is approximately forty dollars so plus shipping so it's it's not a in my opinion it's not a a bad deal for what you're getting uh, the bug bite holster comes in multiple sizes as you can see but it is not sized for the particular firearm you're carrying but it's sized for your leg so what you would do is you'd measure your leg and you would pick the size that you fall into and you would purchase that holster. They recommend that if you're at the upper end of the size measurement to go up a size. Um, again, I did that with the last holster as I was right at the very borderline right in here. Um, and it ended up being too big in my opinion. This one I've tried on, it's snugger. Um, but now with the retention strap, I do think if you went up a size, if you're close to any of these numbers where it reaches the, the upper end of the one size and the lower end of the second size, you probably should go up to the, the next size. But let's take a quick look at the actual holster. It's made out of uh, this neoprene fabric, which is incredibly comfortable. I, like I said, I, I even found it very, very comfortable in the first version of their holster, which didn't have the strap. Um, basically you slip this holster over your your calf it gets up to right about where the the widest part of your calf muscle is and it sits there with compression now with the strap. Um, it unzippers so you can open it up to slide it on. Velcro strap here with, with a good piece of velcro for adjustment. Um, good deep pocket for whatever firearm you're going to carry in here. Um, Bug, Bug Bite Holsters website does say that you can fit up to a Glock 19 sized firearm in here. I don't know if that would work for most people. Um, it's definitely not going to be something I'm going to do going to do with this. This is for carrying a, a smaller firearm. Um, and it also has a pocket for a knife or a spare magazine. The inside is lined with these little rubber dimples to keep it from sliding, which I guess is another means of fixing the, the issue that I had, where it would basically just, after a couple of steps, if you were walking it wasn't a big deal, but if you say went up a flight of stairs or down a flight of stairs, the, the whole holster would just slide right down to my, to my ankle. Um, I attributed that to the wrong purchasing the larger size. Um, with this new design with the strap, I do believe if you purchase the next size up, if you're close to that border, it'll probably work for you. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to try and show, to the best of my ability, how this fits on your leg and what I might consider something you could carry in it um, based, of course, on your comfort level. So sit tight, we'll turn the camera and see if we can get a picture of this on my leg and how I'm going to plan on using it. So sit right there. Alright guys, so we're going to try and see how the bug bite holster works on my leg. Uh, being right handed, this is a right handed holster, it will go on my left leg. Um, so let's show you how it works. We're going to unstrap the main retention strap and make sure the zipper portion is unzipped and then basically you're going to just slide the whole unit over your leg 
as I said, um, I'm, I may consider a larger holster. Uh, they are very good with returns. If it doesn't fit, uh, they'll they'll help you out with that. Um, basically, depending on how I feel with the use in the near future, we'll see if uh, I decide to go with the larger size. So, zip it down, take the strap, and it locks it in, as you can see, over that widest part of your calf there, and it goes down to about the ankle. Um, I'm using it over a sock because I'm going to demonstrate it with what I normally would wear, a pair of, pair of boots. And as you can see, you can slide the whole thing right up over top of the boot. And of course, depending on how large a pant leg you have or what you'd be wearing, you'd be able to get it. Now, with that said, what would I consider something to carry in the pocket here. Uh, I wouldn't suggest anything large. I would say that probably the smaller the better. Um, we're going to go with a Smith & Wesson bodyguard to start. This is clear and empty as you can see. Uh, bodyguard fits in there no problem. And if you're going to use it the same way I plan to use it, put it inside a boot. Keeps it where it's accessible. It's over top of the boot line. So it's easy to draw. Easy to get back in there. Um, nice and thin. So it's not going to be sticking out or pushing into your leg. And it conceals no problem. Uh, a couple of other options you could work with if you so choose, would be something like a J-Frame Smith & Wesson. This, on, in my opinion, would be probably about as thick as you want to go, because that's going to start pushing up against your leg, uh, again, depending on where you situate it exactly on your body. Um, being that the revolvers are a little thicker, it's probably not as comfortable for uh, a long time, I mean, if you had to run out with something like this for maybe an hour or two, you'd be okay. If you planned on using this all day, it could be a little uncomfortable. I could see how it might end up feeling a little too tight or uh, maybe pushing on the muscle a little too much and, and causing an issue there. Um, but again, no problem with the J-frame that fits in there. Another option that I would consider, um, which I actually... Think is a good option is again safety check this is a sig 290 fits in there no problem uh, again easy to retrieve get it in the again depending on what you're wearing um, you'd never even know it's there so I would go personally with something thin. I mean, you can see the the difference in the SIG and the bodyguard there, and of course, the difference in the revolver. The revolver obviously is going to be a little bit thicker because of the cylinder. Um, you know, so your choice, of course, depending on what you are more comfortable carrying. But if I had the option, I would be going with a uh, probably a thin semi-auto of this variety. Uh, what we're going to do next is I'll take this, I'll take the boot off and I'll show you again just sitting on, on my leg without the sock and uh, maybe give you a little bit better of an idea of how that is. If say you were just wearing um, sneakers or, or a lower top shoe with a no sock or, or a, an ankle sock and then pant leg over top. So sit right there and we'll get right on showing you that. Alright guys, back for a reference point here we're going to just use uh, just a slipper that I have as a demonstration for the lower top shoe. Um, as you can see, it sits right about above the ankle, um, up to right around your calf. You cinch it down with the retention strap to, to snug it up to where it fits you. Um, that's kind of how it sits on there. I do like this retention strap. I think that's a major improvement over the, 
the first run of, of this holster. Um, those little plastic dimples on the inside definitely going to keep it from walking down your leg. We'll uh, again put the, the cleared SIG 290 in the holster and I'll show you that it's definitely not. There's no way, in my opinion now, with this new variety of, with this new setup, that it's going to be slipping down your leg. If I had done that with the old one, that would have been right down around my ankle. Um, so if you want to wear something, again, you do, the only, the only thing you are going to need is some sort of, sort of cover garment uh, for your leg, whether it be whatever long pant you're going to wear. Um, and you should be able to get away with something small, uh, even relatively heavier. And uh, I think it's a great option. There is the option on the side here for the magazine. Put a spare mag in there, no problem. Again, covers the whole thing up. And uh, it's actually very comfortable. I'm, I'm, I thought the first one was very comfortable. And this one now, definitely, I think, with the way it's going to sit with the retention strap is going to make it a, a much better holster, in, in my opinion. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like what you see, you can check Bug Bite holsters out. There again is company name. Check them out. Uh, check their website, guys. LE Military. They do give a discount. Uh, they are not endorsing this in any way, this video or anything like that. I purchased this on my own. They were nice enough to cut me a discount for being in law enforcement. And I just think that it's a great product. I really do. And I think this one, this second version, is definitely going to be a, uh, an improvement with everything that they've done to it. So, hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, subscribe to the video. If you got any comments or questions, let us know. And we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, other than that, you guys stay safe out there.